Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how we're gonna reconstitute our uh, peptides. This particular one we have today is ipomorelin, and this is the products I'll send you in your kit to do it. So it's a simple process, and there will be instructions included in the kit, um, but you can use this video as a reference. So go ahead and remove the caps off the uh, vials, get a fresh alcohol swab, vigorously clean where you're gonna put your needle. Both of them. Don't be afraid to get in there real vigorously and clean that out. The last thing you want is an infection. You'll regret it. Okay. Once you have the caps cleaned off, you open up, this is a separate syringe they're gonna get you for the mixing. So you only have one of these in your kit. It's a 10 ml because you're gonna draw up six mLs of the water to insert into the uh, peptide vial. So you go ahead and introduce six mLs of air. Push in all the air and the plunger will go ahead and draw out the six mLs of water. Now you wanna be careful, make sure you have six mLs of water, because if you have any more or any less, you're gonna affect the concentration of the medication. So when introducing the water into the vial of peptides, they, when they pack the peptides, they put a vacuum, a negative pressure inside this vial. So what happens is this vial right now is got an atmospheric uh, pressure lower than our atmospheric pressure. So what happens is if you need to hold this plunger with your fingers, because what happens is as soon as you try to introduce that needle into this plunger, it's going to want to draw the water up really quick. And that's not good because this peptide is very sensitive to shock. Uh, it doesn't want that water to hit, hit it. And when it's mixed, you don't want to shake it because this, the peptide is very sensitive to that kind of shock. So what you can do is you're going to hold the plunger with your fingers and do not allow it to go in. You need to control the, the, uh, the flow of which the water goes into the vial. So you go ahead and insert it, you'll feel the plunger wanting to go into your fingers. So what you're gonna do is tilt the needle down to the glass against the vial, and then slowly allow the water to release into the vial. Draw it out. Now once you've done that, go ahead and recap your needle. You do not, do not want to shake this bottle violently because you'll notice there'll still be some residue of the peptide there. What you want to do is you want to put it in your hand and you want to roll it. Just like that. Now you can either roll it between your hands like this or go give it a twirl, but do not shake the bottle. You don't want to shake this product. Now it may take a few minutes, but it'll, it'll eventually dissipate and dissolve into the liquid. So you can either roll it in your hand or twirl it like that, but you'll eventually see all the product will be dissolved into the solution. Now it's ready for administering. So after you have uh, reconstituted it, you want it to, you want to put it in the refrigerator to uh, maintain its efficacy. Outside of the refrigerator, it won't last 48 hours. So you need to maintain uh, a cold temperature so every use, just put it back in the refrigerator.